project come back this is gonna be such a challenge i'm so tired it's currently 5 45 i woke up at 5 30 i cannot believe that i actually just got up by myself usually justin is up by now as well but he is off of work today him working in a hospital he works really like weird hours he works for 10 hour days usually when he is off of work during the week I will sleep in with him and then get up and not even have a morning routine but as a part of Project Come Back I really want to put myself first and I've decided that I still do need to get up. I usually try to wake up at 5 a.m. so I did get to sleep in until 5.30 today and uh, because I don't have to do things like feed Ellie and take her out so we can really just spend this morning on myself. So I'm not going to drink my coffee yet. I'm going to try to drink some water. We're going to make some breakfast. Let's go. Do you guys like my robe? makeup because I never have time to uh, do it. If I woke up at 5 I would have been able to but it's totally fine so I'm just going to get dressed. I think I'm going to feed Ellie before I go because I don't know when Justin's going to wake up and she looks like give me food. So I'm going to hurry up and get dressed and we've got to head out of here. So I'm on my way to my first job. Literally it's not even five minutes away. Well, how I want to do this project comeback thing um, every single day I want to talk about something different. So obviously yesterday I was introducing you into basically what this whole project comeback is for me personally um, and I think I'm going to touch base on that a little bit more today as well as talk to you guys about distractions um, especially distractions such as people. Throughout the vlog we'll kind of just be chatting about it, I'll give you my view on things, um, ways that you can get rid of the people who are distracting you or kind of just push them to the side. We'll also talk about, you know, if those people are your loved ones and you don't necessarily want to push them to the side, but you know that they're a distraction for you when it comes to reaching your goals, whatever that may be. Today I made sure that I woke up right away and started filming and because days like today it's most important to stay on my game because Justin is off and what I would usually do when Justin was off of work it's like I was off of work I wouldn't work on any YouTube I wouldn't work on any content at all actually and it wasn't the right way to go about things because just because it's his day off during the week doesn't mean it's my day off of the week and he only works four days and I work five technically six so it's just really important that I keep my personal goals to come first because that's the only way that Justin and I are gonna be happy together because when we're not trying to reach goals individually we are just a mess like we are so goal driven and like we help motivate each other so if one of us is not motivated the other person isn't motivated and then we both just get into this really big funk and the reason being is because we spent so much time together for the last four years we're not that couple that 
you know, spends most of the time apart. Like we spent so much time together all the time because he was in college and I only worked four days at the time and we were both in college together and it was just, it was a good time. <laughs> but you know, we have been having to adjust to the fact that Justin has a full-time job, I have a full-time job, and it has been hard. Adulting has been hard. Um, but if you want us to talk about that in a different episode, I think we definitely will. But yeah, I'm just gonna put on my podcast today. I think I'm actually gonna listen to um, the Soul Sugar podcast. If she has a new one out, she probably should. If not, I'll listen to Kaylin Nicholson. Soul Sugar Podcast is just a self-care podcast from Carrie Rad. She's a self-care YouTuber, and she's so relaxing, and just her voice is just like, um, so zenful. So I'm just going to listen to that, and then I will see you guys after I get off work. One eternity later. Today in Maryland, I don't even know if I've ever told you where I live. I live in Maryland. It's not that exciting, trust me. It is literally 95 degrees. Oh, oh wait. It's 109 degrees right now. Justin texts me when I'm at work and he's like, hey, let's do a TRX couples like circuit outside today. We'll be fine under the shade. <laughs> no. Um, on the way home, usually I would listen to a podcast, but I really just want to be my own podcast right now and talk to you guys about distractions. This was the hardest part for me when it came to trying to reach my goals. I've been back into doing the things that I need to do for about a month now. Obviously, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I lost over 50 pounds and the number one thing is surrounding yourself with people who have similar goals to you. Unfortunately for me, most of my old friends or like friends in general, they either are not doing the things that they really should for themselves or they just don't correlate with my goals. And it sounds really selfish, but that's the only way that you're going to be able to achieve the goals that you want. Let's say that I have a friend who wants to hang out with me all the time, but all he, he or she wants to do is drink and party and eat McDonald's every single day and that's all they ever want to do when they're with me it's gonna be really hard for me to stay on track with my goals if you're surrounding yourself with that you're a product of your environment I think I've said that in like a million of my videos and it's so true you are literally a product of your environment what you surround yourself with is what you become and it's a really sad truth and honestly I even had to stop hanging out with family members not not completely but just as much since we moved to our new apartment I am a lot closer to my mom as you guys know I'm studying to get my CBT and you can see I am so busy all day creating content which is another one of my big goals and trying to live a healthy lifestyle and studying for my CPT. And I was hanging out with my mom so much because she's so awesome. I literally didn't have the time to study and then I didn't want to go work out and just it wasn't lining up with what my goals were. So I really had to just take a step back and I told myself, okay, for the next few months, I am being so selfish. If there's anything that I don't want to do, I'm not going to do it. And if there's anything that is going to hold me back from achieving my goals, it's not happening. Like, it's just not happening. I am so happy, so, so happy when I am doing things for myself that I know are going to help me for my future. I'm in a really, really weird spot in my life because I'm 22 years old. I have reached small goals, but not any of the big goals that I've had. Pretty upset about it because every time that I start to make progress on anything, I always end up falling back off because I'm always trying to make everybody else happy that I forget to focus on myself. And it may seem a little bit harsh, but until you start to be selfish, you're not going to achieve goals. Once you start to make the progress that you want and you start to achieve your actual goals, take a shot every time I say goals, then that's when you can reevaluate and be like, okay, I'm in a really good place right now. Maybe I can give up once a week to go do this. Or, you know, I'm gonna go and have that drink with my friend because although I don't wanna party every single day, 
I do care about my friend, so I'm gonna go and party with her just this one day, once a month. I know it sounds so cliche, and they always say, like, you can't love anyone until you love yourself, and all that bullshit, but it's really true, it really is. When I lost my hair, it has been one of the hardest things that I've ever had to deal with. And I never thought that it was going to be as bad as it would. Like obviously dyeing my hair a bunch of colors and going from pink to black and then trying to go to blonde, obviously that is very risky and I knew that it was risky. But I didn't really think that it would happen to me. I didn't think that I would lose all of my hair. And and I always thought to myself, well, if I were to just lose my hair, like hair's hair, like it's fine, it'll grow back. And it was a shock when I actually lost my hair and realized, holy shit, girl, you, your self-care is not where it needs to be. I had so many insecurities. I felt so ugly and there are still days where I just do not feel cute. Like I absolutely do not feel cute and I'll be honest, I still do not feel like I am even as cute as I used to be at all. And I'm lucky enough to have a boyfriend who loves me and supports me and doesn't care if I'm freaking bald or not. The point is, it really started to drag me down, like drag me down so much that when we moved into our that when we moved into our apartment, it was just really, really hard for me and everything started to go downhill. I stopped exercising. Ever since I lost my hair, I stopped exercising. I stopped eating well. I started eating like shit again. I started binge eating again. Um, Justin and I, our relationship was probably the worst that it had, it had ever been because on top of me losing my hair, we were also being introduced to adulthood and having responsibilities, having our own apartment. Uh, creating a budget plan, having finances, and it was honestly just, it was a lot for us, and me being so insecure about myself on top of that did not help the situation. So before you do anything, whether it's achieving a goal or whether it's deciding if you're going to do something that you don't want to do to make someone else happy, really think to yourself and say, do I want to do this? And if the answer is no, don't do it. I want to show you something uh -oh. on camera. What's that? Yeah. Still want to do that workout? Yeah. <laughs> 109 degrees, people. Stupid. Yeah, I almost died. I don't even want to walk to the gym. As you guys saw, it was 109 degrees and your girl's not about that life. My camera's also on 9%, of course. We are going to move the furniture and we're actually going to do beginner Pilates workout. Who wants to do Pilates? Pilates. Okay, so we're doing this total body Pilates 20 minute tone and shape. Legs, butt, abs, beginner home workout. Starting from the sternum, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Awesome. One, Whoa. lower fully to the ground. Awesome job. Imagine you're giving someone a high five behind you. Round and lift it back up. And now we'll switch slightly forward. I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to focus. Oh my god, fuck it. Hand can be either down on the ground or at your feet. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Three, two, one. Nicer to keep the knees together and you get a little more. Oh my goodness. So we finished Pilates. It was awesome. I really think that Pilates is definitely going to be like my new thing because that was just great. What did you think? Oh, that was so spectacularly, phenomenally. Unrealistically hard. <laughs> no. And that was just the beginner? <laughs> no, it's not unrealistic. No, absolutely. It's um is a great starting point and it is very challenging even though it's in the even just the beginner. So we've got a long way to go. So we just made ourselves like a little snack. We actually just are splitting a spicy tuna sandwich. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I put the recipe to this in my meal prep video, so I'll link it right here for you. It's so good. Isn't it good? It's incredible. I so it's only 4.30, so I'm probably just gonna edit for the next hour and a half. Look at them abs. Oh yeah. Tequila! All right, you guys, it is 8.15, and I have already showered and care on and did my little night routine because we are about to watch a movie. But I know that when we watch a movie, I'm not gonna want to even get up and wash my face, so I decided to do it first. <laughs> 
Justin hasn't showered in like five days. So what? It's not... You might smell like that, but I showered <laughs> yesterday. Thank you so much for watching day two of Project Comeback. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you are enjoying Project Comeback, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. See you then. Have a simple day. Bye-bye.